Welcome back, and we are back in the kitchen cooking Italian with Rania, making the most of our seasonal tomatoes. That's right. And all this stuff looks good. We have pasta going. Right. And we're working on our pizza. We're working on our pizza. Now, this pizza doesn't necessarily have tomatoes, and the reason that I did this was because you can make a pizza that doesn't have tomatoes. And I thought, wouldn't that be a kick? <laughs> Something a I little love different. It. Like a white pizza. It is made with Italian tuna. Oh. Yes. Now, Italian tuna comes in olive oil, and there's a seriously big difference between the Italian tuna and the regular stuff out of the can. This actually comes in a jar. Oh. And it's not very inexpensive. It's, it's a little expensive, but you really need to do the Italian tuna on this. It's going to make the difference. All the difference in the world. And I happened to get it on sale. I went to Whole Foods. And I found it on sale for five ninety nine or something like that, or four ninety nine. So I bought all the jars they had because I love it. <laughs> I do. And then I have here artichokes. artichokes that are marinated, and again in some olive oil. Good stuff. Oh, what's right. in the oven? The oven's your pizza. Oh, the yeah. finished one. And here I have some diced red bell pepper. That's great. This is a terrific pizza. Not so much for kids, however. But for adults. Oh, and for sure. And I like sure. that you brought the bottle of wine. So I that did. would go great I with did. it. I did. And then here we've got some red onion. We'll pick that up and scatter that all over. Looks you can good. make a regular pizza with tomatoes for the children if you want and mozzarella yeah. using the boboli shell. And here is feta cheese. Ooh, you know, I love feta cheese. I, I love goat do cheese too. too. You have goat cheese over here. It's hiding behind your pot of feta. boiling water. And I'm just dying to dig into that. You're going to be in just two seconds. <laughs> so now what you want to do is spread the feta over the top. And then you have here some basil oh, that, that we beautiful. cut into like julienne. Yeah. And then I like to put a little olive oil on here and put this in a 450 degree oven. And it takes about eight to 10 minutes. So if you'll indulge me. The magic of TV, magic as we always say. It's perfect. I can't wait to see this. That looks very. I'm going to just want this? slide it. Would you mind? Absolutely. Wow, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. So there's your pizza. And I have here a plate. Yes, thank and you. And I'm going to take a nice big knife here. <laughs> thank goodness John isn't here. Oh. I never, I never like when the knives are close when John is here. <laughs> he makes me nervous Actually, with those things. Actually, let me do it this way, because now <laughs> it's easier when you got a cutting board. And then we'll put it right back on. Ah, look at that. Yeah. I'm going to give you a not so small piece. OK. <laughs> <laughs> here. Now it's hot. Okay. It's so hot. That looks great. I'm so gonna use a fork and a knife. You do a fork and a knife, and what I'm going to do very quickly is slide this right back on. Can I help? Oh, you go ahead and start eating. <laughs> I wanna know what you think about I can't this. wait to try this. There you go. Okay. Oh, look at all this delicious goodness here. Watch this. Oh, that is so good. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Huh? All right, now. Really good. Good thing I have this. I'm going to clean this off. All right. Yes? Mm hmm. Okay. Very quickly. Yes, ma'am. Going right back to the pasta bowl right here. Pasta's done. Turn this off. And for those of you who missed our segment right before this, we're making a no cook sauce, which is really, no I've never done that before. No cook sauce. Take this out. It's okay if there's a little bit of water in here. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. And what you want to do is get a ladle because you might need some of this pasta oh, yeah. water. What does mm. that do when you're when you're cooking? Because I see a lot of recipes that say to preserve going, the water. That's right. It does. Now you're going mm. to put this on top of that, and then before we do anything, and it has to go on when it's hot, you just take some basil. And tear it. That tuna has like a sweet. It's taste a different almost. tuna. It is. Yeah. It's a different tuna. Now while I'm doing this and tearing this, let me tell you about the tomato jam that I brought. Ooh. Why don't you take that? Okay. Take a spoon, and you see I have some crostinis behind yes. you, mm -hmm. and some goat cheese, and that knife of yours. 
Why don't you take just a slice of that goat cheese and put it on the crostini? I can put as big of a slice as I and want, right? And let me tell you about the tomato jam. Okay. I took four tomatoes, I chopped them up, and my recipe is going to tell you to do a heaping tablespoon of sugar. There, and a vanilla bean that you split. And you want to cook this till it becomes a marmalade consistency. Mm -hmm. But to be very honest with you, I just didn't think it was sweet enough. And by the time I was all said and done, yeah. I tossed in another tomato and I ended up doing almost a quarter of a cup of sugar. Wow. And I cooked this on top of the stove, uncovered in a wide bottom pot. That looks beautiful. It's just an orange, it's just a tomato marmalade. And what I did was, is I allowed that to cook until the tomatoes became translucent and almost like a jam-like consistency. Mm -hmm. And I made a crostini out of French bread when you topped with goat cheese, and I topped it with the tomato marmalade. Now, can mm. you ha get the sweetness there? Good, right? That's what I thought. It doesn't even taste like a tomato. I know. It's, it's, they're candy tomatoes, and the recipe's on the website. But folks, do me a favor. Add enough sugar until you feel it tastes sweet enough. Now hand me the green mm. bowl. Look at this, by the way. That looks beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I don't, I don't want to leave the kitchen today. Oh, I'm so glad. Can I stay with you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can absolutely <laughs> stay with me. Now the thing is on this, mm -hmm. I don't even do cheese. You it can, looks, but I don't. It looks gorgeous. I really gorgeous. want that tomatoey goodness to come out. Look at that. It looks great. That's for you. Okay. I have all these plates over here. I what know. am I going to do? Let me show you, the folks. Isn't okay. this darling? It's beautiful. And, and you it's can keep so it in good. the refrigerator. Mm. And my five tomatoes gave me two jars. And it's terrific. So this is all there. so good. Isn't it lovely? And it's all very refreshing, too. I know. It's very light. Now, if you wanted, you could grate some Parmigiano Reggiano on yep. there. But, ah. Well, I, I just think that that complicates it. You don't have to do it's cheese such good on flavor. everything, right? Um, between these two, I mean, it's it's all refreshing and light, even though we're having pasta and I know pizza, uh, pizza, but yum. very good. You're going to want to look up these recipes for sure. We'll have that on our website, kdka.com slash PTL, and we'll also have a link to Ring is Catering in case you're short on time and need her to do, this, to the, do the cooking for you. Happy to do it. <laughs>